What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here, back again with another video. We just finished up watching Slam Aversary, the pay per view, and I will say this show was hands down way better than Extreme Rules. The Sammy Callahan uh, Pentagon match was just amazing. That was probably stole the show for me. Best match in a long time that I've seen, and I'm really excited to see where they go with impact here because there's a lot of stuff even my dog super excited about it. you can hear my dog so like that show was great we give that 10 marks and i'm like yes you can give that 10 marks there um so we'll, we'll run down the show here we'll talk about the stuff and we'll go do a quick little review here so we had johnny impact ishimori phoenix and pd williams this was a awesome four-way match to start it off insanely nuts the crowd uh goes welcome back for everybody uh Johnny Impact and Ishimori, so good. Um, there's just so much good stuff out of this. Um, and the winner of this is Johnny Impact. This is just one of those things that you you have to check out. I mean, there was all kinds of crazy moves. So much fun stuff here. Um, Starship Pain onto Phoenix, one, two, three. Like, this was just a great opener, a great match to start it off. Set the pace for this show here. And it was really, 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 really good. And like this is just one of those matches where you gotta watch. There's 450 splashes, there's Canadian destroyers, springboard double stops, like all kinds of crazy stuff. Muscle busters, super kicks, starship pains, anything you could want out of a match like this, a four-way, like cruiserweight style, you know, X Division type match. This is what you'd want to see, and it was good. Um, also in the show, they had like the OG. Uh, OGs were looking, you know, they, they, they pimped the OGs LAX match a while, um, which I thought was really cool. Then we get Tessa Blanchard versus Allie. Um, this one probably goes down as like my least favorite match, but I don't think it was a bad match. I still think it was decent. Um, this just goes down like back and forth. Um, you know, we had the, the Allie Valley driver is out. She calls that move. Um, she did that at one point. Um, uh, but then, uh, Allie picked her up again, and then it was reversed into a hammerlock DDT. One, two, three, Tessa Blanchard wins, and it was just good. I think it was great. I think it was fun. I think it was, you know, in a, a good match. It puts Tessa Blanchard up there um, going against Allie, and, you know, that's good for me. So I think that was good. Um, we did have some backstage stuff where Moose was talking about how he's going to win and whatever, all that stuff. And then we get a recap of Eddie Edwards with uh, Sammy Callahan turning into Tommy Dreamer. And we had Tommy Dreamer versus Eddie Edwards in a House of Hardcore match. This was a great hardcore match. It was back and forth. Eddie Edwards kind of uh, had this demonic thing about him where he was like kind of a little psycho and then eventually he like snapped out of it at the end. But I really liked it. Eddie Edwards, there was a staple gun at one point. Blood was involved. Really awesome match. Dreamer got an ECW title from the crowd, which was really funny. And he took that ECW title and smacked Eddie Edwards from it. So that was hilarious. ECW chance all around. Um, there was kendo stick shots. There was so much great stuff out of this. Um, but they did at one point bring a table in the ring. And they had a lighter fluid that they were going to use. But uh, it didn't happen. Um, he didn't get it. Uh, the Boston knee party, AKA shining wizard by Eddie Edwards. One, two, three gets the pinfall. And that was it. Um, kind of a heel thing to not actually use the, the fire there, which, you know, it was a flaming table and they didn't use it, Boo! but yeah, but then Eddie Edwards goes to hit dreamer, but then he helps him up and like holds his hand. But yeah, it was, it was very weird. Then Alicia comes out. Uh, he does puts the kendo towards Eddie, whatever, passing the torch. Um, so it's like dreamer gives him the kendo and then it goes off. So that's what it was. We think get Brian cage and Matt Seidel. And this was really good. Um, it was that typical, like big man versus little man match. But then Brian cage did a flip and he said, I can flip too. Um, it was super cool. Uh, if you, if you know anything about Matt Seidel and you know anything about Brian cage, you know what to expect from a match like this. Honestly, I enjoyed this a lot. I thought this was a really good match. I think it was fun. Um, the ending was very cool. Um, it was almost a little scary. So I think the ending of the match was going to be Matt Seidel going for the shooting star press. Brian Cage moves, and then Brian Cage gets the win. Um, but he does the shooting star press. His feet actually hit the ropes. And, um, and then that was it. Jerome Claw by Brian Cage, and then you had your new champion. Brian Cage is the new X Division champion. And I thought that was really cool. There was one point where I believe it was this match where Brian Cage or where Seidel dove and Brian Cage caught him for a suplex. That was really neat. Um, this was a great match. Looked kind of scary when Seidel hit the 
the shooting star press and his feet hit the ropes. Um, but I don't know if that was planned out or not. If you can do that with precision, it, it, it ended up being a, like a really safe landing. So it looked pretty good too. Um, and that was cool. Uh, then we had our knockouts championship match with Sue Young versus Madison Rain. I did not realize Madison Rain was a five-time knockout champion. Wow. Okay. So Sue Young is carried out in a coffin with their undead bridesmaid. At some point, the bridesmaids got involved, um, and it was a little back and forth there. Um, crowd was behind Sue Young most of the time. Um, it was a cool match. Um, and then it became like a mandible claw. I don't know if that's what her move is. She does the mandible claw, and then the ref called it there. Um, and then at the end, Su Young rolled Madison Rain into the coffin, and Young stands on it with a title as she headbangs there. So that was really good, too. I enjoyed that. Um, then we had LAX versus the OGs, the street fight for the tag team championships. This was really cool. There was a sweet entrance from LAX and the OGs. They both had pretty cool entrances there. Um... This was just your typical, like, all right, we're going to have an awesome street fight. There was tables that had LAX spray painted on them that, you know, both members went through Hernandez with some border tosses. I mean, this just went crazy. Hernandez jumping out of the ring, uh, top rope moves, jumping out of there, Death Valley drivers through tables, you know, crowd loved it. So much crazy stuff. Uh, Conan got involved. Um... You know, it, it was just a great match. And then LAX got the win to retain the titles. But post-match, um, they knock out LAX and they spray paint OG on the title and they steal the titles. And there was that. So that was awesome. That was a great match. And that was, it was just super fun. If you like tag team wrestling, if you remember any of the old LAX stuff where they had those like awesome hardcore matches, those are the kind of stuff you're going to see in this kind of match. It was a street fight and I really enjoyed it. And then we have Pentagon Jr. versus Sammy Callahan, hair versus mask match. Now, this match is the match that you need to see all year long match of the month of the, I don't even know. It was really awesome. This was so freaking insane. This was a hardcore, turned into a hardcore match. There was baseball bat brought into it. There was chairs brought into it. There was railroad spikes. That's right. They, they railroad spiked each other in the head. And at one point, Pentagon had a, a baseball bat and a railroad spike and he was hitting the railroad spike into his head and oh my gosh Sammy Callahan started ripping his mask and there, there was just everything you can want for a match like this there was blood everywhere it was amazing stuff it was so cool to watch I mean they ended up sitting down in a chair punching each other in the face the fans chanted fight forever the crowd was just insane like this is a match that I would say go watch right now go watch that match right now because it was just that good um, at the end, Pentagon Jr. got the, the the pinfall for the win after he uh, broke the arm in a package pile driver on a chair. Um, one point, uh, Sammy Callahan threw salt or powder into his eyes, but uh, and then Pentagon broke the ref's arm thinking it was Callahan. So that was pretty comical. So both men were going for pins. The ref's arm was broken, so he couldn't do anything. Um, and then Sammy Callahan ended up losing. Um, he tried to run away, um, but... That did not happen. He ended up getting caught as Phoenix came out and security showed up to make sure his head got shaved. Head got shaved, and there it was. Callahan yelled no. I liked everything from start to finish, even Callahan running away, getting brought back, and finally getting his head shaved. I thought that was really amazing. So, I mean, that was just super awesome, super cool, and, and you know exactly what you want out of a match like this. This is a match you need to go see. Start to finish, story told, perfect, perfect, perfect. If they don't do more with these two, Sammy Callie and Pentagon, I feel like they need to do more. This this was just great. And then in our main event, we had Austin Aries, the Impact World Champion, versus Moose, which is really weird. They called Moose, or they called Austin Aries the longest reigning grand champion, which I don't think that's it. But uh, this was a cool match. It was like, I don't know. I don't know. It was just like a match that you would see in a main event that wasn't like, oh my gosh, this blows you away, but it was pretty good. There was like a lot of back and forth moves. There was, I mean, headbutts. There was stuff to the outside. There was a crucifix bomb at one point by Austin Aries. Um, back and forth fighting on the entrance. Uh, one time Aries got launched uh, to the outside. Um, Moose did get brain busted on the outside, which was really crazy. Got in before a nine count though. Um, Austin Aries did grab the, the title. Uh, Curtis Granderson was out there as like the special title holder or whatever. Um, he grabs the title from Austin Aries. 
Uh, Moose goes with the schoolboy. Aries does a kick to the head after a two count and brain buster for the win. That's it. Um, and then Aries celebrates and that's it in the end. So honestly, Aries and, uh, you know, Aries and Moose was okay. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, but it was, you know, a lot better than what was going on there. Um, I thought it was really cool. I enjoyed it. I think that Pentagon and Callahan was the best match that you'll see in wrestling this month, probably. So kudos to that. Maybe if you're watching G1, whatever, but that hardcore match, I'm not a huge hardcore fan, but that match was just great. That, that hair, the hair match was just everything that I wanted and more. So I'm going to leave it guys. I give that, that pay-per-view a big thumbs up. I mean, I gave two out of four for that. I'd probably get two out of four for extreme rules, which is, you know, I'd give this like 3.5 out of four, three and three, you know, just that, that LAX street fight was great. And the, and the, uh, the Sammy Callahan Pentagon match just put it over the top for me. So, you know, this is definitely a must watch if, if I go, I don't really do ratings cause I'm not a big ratings guy, but I would say this is like a must watch Pentagon and, and Callahan. That was great. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this paper. If you guys did enjoy this, thank you guys for, uh, watching this and if you guys were on twitch twitch.tv slash tony beats guy we did the live watch party with some of the subscribers and thank you guys for coming on out for that and as always we'll end it now thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for more videos in the future